Hello, dear students! Welcome to our lesson. Hope you are okay and ready to study. Let's start our lesson. Don't forget to take a notebook and a pen or a pencil to make notes. Now look at the title of our module Legends or Truth. In your notebooks write down at least three associations you have with this phrase. It can be a name, a place or maybe a phrase, anything that comes into your mind when you hear a phrase legends or truth. Well done! Now look at the picture. Who is the person on the picture? You are right, it's Robin Hood. I think you have heard the legends about Robin Hood because they are very famous. Maybe you know any other legends? Maybe you know any Kazakh legends? You probably do. Legends about Kuzukorpiesh and Bayan Sulu, great. Anything else? Legend about Karahan and Aisha Bibi, great. Most Kazakh legends are about love. So, as you can guess, today we will talk about legends. Can you write down in your notebooks what a legend is? Now let's check if you were right. Look at the definition given by Cambridge Dictionary. Legend is a very old story or set of stories from ancient times or the stories, not always true, that people tell about a famous event or a person. Though customarily told as true stories, legends often contain some bizarre, supernatural or highly improbable elements. Types of legends include folk legends and urban legends. Some of the world's most famous legends survive as literary text, such as Odyssey and Tales of King Arthur. Now we are going to read a text about the legends of Robin Hood. Before reading, I would like to introduce you some new words. Listen to the words and repeat after me. Word number one. Archer. Archer is a person who shoots arrows from a bow for sport or as a weapon. Number two. Outlaw. Outlaw is a person who has broken the law and who lives separately from the other parts of society because he wants to escape legal punishment. And the last one, arch enemy. Arch enemy is an especially bad enemy. Now let's start reading. While reading, please try to find facts that prove that stories about Robin Hood are legends. You can also make notes if you need to, because after the reading we will do an exercise based on the text. People have told stories about Robin Hood for more than 700 years. Nobody knows if he was a real person or an invented character. In the legends, Robin was extremely intelligent and had a playful sense of humor. The stories say that Robin Hood was a skilled archer and he always carried a bow and an arrow. He wore green clothes and a hat with a green feather. He lived in Sherwood Forest with a group of outlaws or criminals known as his merry men. The group included Friar Tuck, Little John, who was unusually tall, and Robin's true love, Maid Marian. 
Sherwood Forest was a royal hunting forest near Nottingham in England. Most people thought that forests were dangerous places to go. People traveling through the forest were often robbed by outlaws. The stories say that Robin Hood only took money from rich people so that he could give it to people who needed it. So he became famous for robbing from the rich and giving to the poor. The Sheriff of Nottingham was Robin's arch enemy. It was the Sheriff's job to keep the wood safe and to make sure that nobody stole the King's deer. The Sheriff of Nottingham tried to catch Robin Hood but never succeeded. Centuries ago, people loved to tell each other stories of Robin Hood. Later, he became a famous character in books and nowadays Robin is still a well-loved hero in literature, theatre, TV and films. Now let's see if these stories about Robin Hood match the definition of a word legend. Are the stories about Robin Hood old? Yes, they are. People have told them for more than 700 years, so they are quite old. Was Robin Hood a famous person? Yes, he was. Do we know if Robin Hood was a real person? No, we don't know exactly. So now we can claim that the stories about Robin Hood are legends. Now I would like you to answer the following questions about the text. Question number one. Where did Robin Hood live? Sherwood Forest, Merry Forest, Magic Forest, or Dark Forest? And the right answer is A. Sherwood Forest. Next. Robin Hood became famous for making lots of money, robbing from poor to help rich, robbing from rich to help poor, having a good sense of humor. And the right answer is C. Robbing from rich to help poor. And the last question. Who was Robin Hood's arch enemy? The bishop, the king, the sheriff, or the outlaws? And the right answer is C, the sheriff. If you answered all three questions correctly, great job. If you have two correct answers, fine. Now let's think about the purpose of the legends. Why were they invented? The main reason is to inspire people to do good things. The other reason is to give people a hope for a better future. Now think about the purpose of legends about Robin Hood. You are right. The purpose of these stories was to give poor people in the past a hope for a better future where there would be a good king and justice. Now you might be interested in the difference between myths and legends because usually these words are used interchangeably. A legend is presumed to have some basis in historical fact and tends to mention real people or events. However, the truth has been exaggerated. In contrast, a myth is a type of symbolic storytelling that was never based on fact. Throughout time, myths have sought to explain difficult concepts, for example, the origin of the universe. 
Can you give me any examples of other myths? Ancient Greek myths, well done, they are the most popular. Maybe any Kazakh myths? Myths about god Tengri and goddess Umay, well done. Now we are going to read a short myth called Pandora's Box. Before reading, let's look at some new words. Listen to the words and repeat after me. Word number one. Vengeance. Vengeance is the punishing of someone for harming you or your friends or family or the wish for such punishment to happen. Word number two. Wisdom. Wisdom is the ability to use your knowledge and experience to make good decisions and judgments. Word number three. Cunning. Cunning is the quality or skill of being clever at planning something so you get what you want, especially by tricking other people. Temptation means the wish to do or have something that you know you shouldn't do or have. Let's read the text. While reading, try to find features that make this story different from the stories about Robin Hood. Pandora's box. After Prometheus gave the fire to humans, Zeus decided to take vengeance. He ordered Hephaestus to create the first human woman out of soil and water. Each god gave the woman a gift. Athena gave her wisdom, Aphrodite beauty, Hermes cunning, and so on. The name of the woman was Pandora, meaning all gifts in Greek. Zeus gave Pandora a jar, warning her not to open it under any circumstances and sent her to Prometheus' brother Epimetheus. Prometheus had warned his brother not to accept any gifts from Zeus. However, Epimetheus accepted Pandora who, although tried hard to resist the temptation, opened the jar and released all evils upon the world. Hatred, war, death, hunger, sickness, and all the disasters were immediately released. Now let's discuss and find the difference. Were the characters in this story real people? No, they definitely were not. Are the events in this story true? For example, the creation of the first woman out of soil and water. Does this seem to be a true fact? No, it doesn't. What about the origins of such concepts as death, hunger and war? Do they seem real? No, they don't. So now I think you can see the difference. Legends about Robin Hood were probably based on the true facts, however, they were exaggerated. But the myth about Pandora definitely wasn't based on a true story. Also, the purpose is different. Legends about Robin Hood were invented to give people hope, while myth's purpose was to explain some difficult concepts like origins of war and death. I hope it is clear now. We've done a lot today. We've read about legends and myths. We looked at the difference between them. We've also learned some new words. I would recommend you to revise them at home. This is the end of our lesson. Thank you for your great work. Hope you enjoyed it.